If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code INCEPTION when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the uh, gameplay objective, James Madison to check out. Uh, with this card, guys, we're taking a look at someone who is 5'9", high medium work rates, uh, four-star skill moves with a four-star weak foot. In-game play styles, this card has the incisive pass, the paint pass, excuse me, as well as the flare and the tree vela. So they've actually changed the play styles of these cards, which I'm going to be honest with you guys, is actually a welcome change. The reason being for this is because it adds a variable to people that did the player of the month version who want a dead ball plus play style. And then there's a variable where the triple threat gives you a different play style, which to be fair, is better for the general experience in your game, right? Long ball pass in this game, especially the plus version for the lob and lofted through passes are more accurate, travel faster and are more difficult to intercept. That is going to be a very solid thing to work with because this card is someone that you are supposed to strictly use in the actual cam position, right? And the reason being for this is because, you know, with Madison, like I, I've tried him in the past using him as like a secondary striker, that type of deal. I personally didn't like it, right? Reason being for this is because the way that this card's pace is set up is specifically for that cam position on the Hunter cam, which style, boosting the acceleration to be as high as possible. But it's the sprint speed being at a 79 that makes you want to work with that explosiveness more than anything right so the shooting is going to be in the 90s area the passing on the card is going to be in a fantastic area for someone who has the passing play styles uh dribbling we will be experimenting with if i remember for what the card is before he's not necessarily like the best dribbler like obviously i'd rather use griezmann in that position just because of the left stick being a little bit more responsive but um you know his attacking ai and that type of stuff was actually pretty solid like the cheaper card from the rare gold was actually pretty decent to use in the beginning of the year which is why when i did the player of the month review i mentioned to you guys that the rare gold is actually very solid so again very specific card for the camp position uh he actually has some defensive stats which can be a w to work with and then he has physical stats that just screams play me in the camp position right so uh it's kind of like the way that spurs plays in real life you know their 4-2-3-1 system with james madison playing down the middle that's kind of how you have to use him in FIFA as well. So yeah, we'll be using him in the main attacking positions up top. We will see how he plays. Hopefully he's a beast. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I always do that. It's like a bad habit of mine. Oh, the first time pass was a little bit better than over and sick. I try to spam it there to see if you would actually win the ball in the air. Ah, yeah. Do the extra stuff there for sure. Side for the strike, we still score. They better do a patch for that uh, defensive play, man. The fact that you can make that pass and it just drags to the other player is really, really stupid. And, oh, I can't shoot that. And I can shoot that one, though. There it is. Meta! Get the drag back, Meta! Okay. Almost got a defensive play there. Oh! 
I worked a, a worse angle there. Yeah, that one was not going to be the one. The step overs do be kind of crazy, huh? They do be kind of crazy. Nicely done. Nice little weighted pass. We got a little disguise run there at the bottom. Open up the space for the top. We'll take it. Nice. Good run right there. Good run. And a great strike on the green. And we get the defensive play too. I had to cancel it because I didn't expect those touches. Oh, almost, almost. Oh, no registration from his defenders. Ooh, well bodied. Oh, this is the hot spot. Why is he giving it to De Bruyne? Don't you dare. think so. Ah, really? Yeah, he's not going to be the uh, finesse shot top on a uh, finesse shot type on a consistent basis, that's for sure. Nice, the first time skill move actually worked out. Good movement. Oh, I won't get that. Unlucky. Oh, what is going on with the camera? I don't know what just happened right there. I don't get that first touch. What's with, yo? What's with this camera? What's going on right now? Hello? I try finesse shots inside the 18, but they're just not. It's funny because in the beginning of the game, it was okay. It was okay, but. After a while, you just you got to power strike pretty much everything, man. Unless unless you have the traits and then that side footage on the power strikes, man. What a, look at this camera. What is it doing, bro? I'm going to leave this game. You know, what's really funny is that when I was seeing the free kick animation, uh, I totally forgot that he doesn't have the dead ball in this card, right? Like the player of the month card has the dead ball because we're doing this without the introduction yet, right? The de This card has the dead ball on it, but this card does not, you know? Oh, it's interesting. It's interesting. This one literally does not have it. All right, long ball, incisive pass, flare, Trivella. Right, so. That's a play style plus, right? Really good passes. Oh, that would have been cool if I got that. Oh, and I caught him too, man. That's unlucky. Oh, too much power on it. Ooh, 
Wara Cross. Oh, I thought he's gonna miss. That would have been bad. It's weird because it, like the way that the shot comes off there is kind of like in the middle, but it still worked, so it's okay. Shoot! Oh, it was a good lob pass though. And we miss. Oh, no way, dude. What a pass, though. You're on side. You are on side, my friend. And if I don't green it, he won't hit the direct side. He's offside. Very lucky with the pass, though, because it came off of the uh, the nutmeg, right? Which is never really skilled, right? There it is. I had to work a small little gap there for the FIFA finish, you know? Legrand switched to the bottom, and we actually made it work. First time lob, always accurate. Oh, would have been nice. Nice try. Nice goal. A little bit of technical dribbling, get into the right position. We'll take that finish. Having that uh, that playstyle is really helpful, eh? Just for like those passes and stuff. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the James Madison card. So guys, you know what? As a gameplay objective. If you're going to be using a formation that uses a cam, whether that's a 4-2-3-1, 4-1-2-1-2, 4-3-1-2, -1 any of those types of formations, Madison is going to be a very, very solid option to work with there because of one, solid attacking AI, and two, very good passing capabilities. Whenever you see certain players in your teams in open positions, you can honestly do lob passes on a pretty consistent basis, and he's going to do a very, very well-weighted lob passes um, you know, fast ones, very direct, very solid to work with, especially if you have strikers on that get in behind instruction for some of the tactics that people end up using. So this is like one of the few gameplay objective cards that EA provides us that's actually pretty decent to use in game, especially if you use them correctly. Again, I don't recommend using this card as like a striker or as a left mid, right mid or anything like that. Like I've seen some people do that, right? And sure, you could do that, but the card isn't going to play his best football in that area. You could technically use him as an attacking oriented center mid in a 4-3-2-1. I'm not completely opposed to that. But like I said, if you are going to use this card in your team, it has to be in a formation like a 4-2-3-1 to really fully utilize him. Uh, the play style differences, going to be honest with you, I actually prefer it because with free kicks, you're going to have some players in your teams that have free kick capabilities you know whether they have like just the regular dead ball not the plus version of it uh like you could see during the gameplay it switched to my kevin de bruyne uh when i thought madison had the play style without doing the review yet and you can clearly see that it's not a huge uh, excuse me i just bit my tongue there it's not a huge deal to work with right it's a huger deal english is not correct there but it's a bigger deal to work with someone who has the long ball plus because that for your general experience with the way that the game plays out normally 
is going to be way better to work with, especially with incisive pass um, and all that good stuff. So, yeah, definitely a solid gameplay objective if you end up using him in the cam position. Um, they don't really release too many of these types of cards, so definitely a W there. Guys, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.